everybody. Now, quick reminder from year 11, work is force times distance. So if you push an object with a force F through a displacement S, work equals F times S, force times distance. However, A level, a little bit harder. Now, because if we push an object uh, parallel to the direction of motion, okay, that's okay. But if we push it at a, an angle, so we're pushing it at an angle, but it actually moves that way, as the force is going down there, well then only this part of the force is useful moving it forwards. So we have here an angle, and we end up with the work is equal to uh, Fs cos theta, where this angle here is theta, because only a part of the force is actually doing the work moving it forwards. Second way they can make it a bit harder is to have a graph where we have force and displacement here. But let's just normally we assume that it's just a straight force times displacement, that's what we've always done. But imagine the force varies. If the force varies, it could vary like that, it could vary like that, it could vary in different ways. If it does vary, what we need to do is look at each individual part there and see how much work is done there, how much work is done there, how much work's in there, add them all together, and that gives the total work done. And finally, the other way they can make the exam can be a little bit harder is they could have a spring where the force is directly proportional to the displacement there. So again, it's area under the graph, just as it was here, but of course that's a triangle, so you'd have to use some formula or other for a triangle there. Okay, thank you.